Hey guys, what's up? And today we're going to talk a little bit about dreams. You know, I, I talked in the, I talked in my past videos a little bit about failure, success, what that looks like. But failure and success in relation to what? Although it was born out of, you know, all that came just out of a failed video performance I did. Just a failed video. But now I think, you know, I should talk a little bit about dreams, what that looks like. I think it's a very important topic personally. Now I want you to think about when you were a kid. When you were a kid, what did you want to do? Right? If somebody says you want to grow up, you probably said be president of the United States or be some star quarterback for this football team or, you know, whatever. You wanted to do something great. You wanted to do something big. And back then, you were too small to understand things like limitations and what you could and could not do. To you, you could achieve anything. Impossible did not exist in your vocabulary. And then I think sometime during what, late adolescence, early 20s, all of a sudden we just kind of wake up and the real world hits a smack in the face, right? They're like, uh-uh, you've got bills, you've got responsibilities, relationships, etc. You got this, you got that, you got things that tie you down. You have, I don't know, maybe a limitation of some sort. And those dreams, they, they just die for some reason, for whatever reason. There's a myriad of reasons, but they just die in us. And what do we do? We settle for a job, maybe bagging groceries, you know, maybe working at a gas pump. And I'm not looking down on people who do that at all. I'm just saying, this, we just figure this is what we should do, right? This is all that life has for us. So we might as well make the best of it is what, is what we're saying. But I don't think that's the right mindset to have. I, I really, really don't. Because, I've, I, you know, Rolf Waldo Emerson once said, dare to live the life you have imagined for yourself. I, I think that's a pretty good quote. I think that about sums it up. You only have one life. That's it. You don't get to go back around the track. That is it. You get one lap. And you have to, and in my opinion, you should make the absolute most of it. In my opinion, this life is too short and too fragile to waste it on something we hate doing anyway. All for what? Right? And granted, I understand there's responsibilities, there's bills. I get that. But I, I, I don't care. You know what? Nobody on their deathbed has ever said, I wished I'd paid that bill years ago, right? Or I, I, I wished I'd been this or that. Nobody on their deathbed ever says that. You're not thinking that when you die, when you're on your deathbed or in a senior citizen home. Forbid that ever happen. So for me, what does that look like? Well, for me, I want to be a concert guitarist more than anything. Concert solo guitarist. Because that is my passion. You know, I listen to John Williams or Julian Bremer. You know, whoever may be my favorite guitarist. And I just feel alive. I'm like, yes, this is what I want to do. And when I play guitar, even if I'm just practicing, I think I want to do this forever. This is incredible. This is where my passion is. So I work very, very hard trying to do that. Now, granted, I've got limitations too because I got started kind of late, way, way, way too late to do this kind of thing. So I'm having to do a whole lot of catching up. But that doesn't matter. I'm having to, I work and work and work every single day trying to achieve that goal to become great to become great enough to be a solo guitarist and of course I've got other mini dreams that go along with that but that's my big dream now, I don't know what that looks like for you what is what, what what would your dream be it may be big it may be small in my opinion you should dream big you should dream something that's seemingly impossible or maybe it's not but either way you have to find that thing in life that makes you live and alive is like how I put it that thing that makes you just feel alive like you, you can you know the thing that you do that makes your blood, you can feel your blood flowing through your veins. You know what I'm saying? You just feel alive. You have all this energy, this passion. Whatever that may be for you, it's different for everybody. That is what you should go after, in my opinion. I'm just saying, again, you only have one life. Why would you waste it doing something lesser? Why would you waste it being second to somebody else or something else? We were, in my opinion, we were never born to do that. We were never born to be second at anything. I just don't believe that. I'm sorry. And I don't know what this looks like for you. Maybe you tried to do something once and it just didn't go out. I say go back and do it again. Go and try again. No matter how old you are, how young you are, no matter what it may be you want to do, even if it's President of the United States. Hey, say what you want about our current president, but nobody ever predicted Donald Trump would ever have been president. Am I right? Again, po polit politics aside, nobody would have ever thought something like that. <laughs> Am I right? Just, just think about that. You look at Conor McGregor. Nobody ever, ever, ever thought this guy would not only become MMA champion once, but twice. He had literally a million reasons why he never should have even been in the UFC to begin with. And again, these are just two examples, two very simple examples. Uh, you know, Harrison Ford even. Here's another good example. Harrison Ford was 30 years old, and he was a carpenter, and he still didn't have a major role. 
Everybody pretty much given up on him, and now everybody can't wait to sign him. Am I right? <laughs> we all know the name Harrison Ford. Again, these are just examples. Whatever it is in life, you have to go after it, and go after it hard, go after it fast, and give everything you've got. Because again, I've already said this, this is the one life you get. You better make the most of it. That's just my opinion, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.